Hello everyone, so in this video, let us talk about one more easy problem from lead code. The problem name is binary tree paths. So you're given a root of a binary tree. You have to return all the roots to leaf paths in any order as possible. Your leaf is a node with no children. Okay, so as you can see that for this particular tree, a path denotes one, three, five because going from the top root node to all the leaf nodes. Okay, so this is not a leaf node. Leaf node is when both the children are not there so this is a, like because it has one children so it's not a leaf node so one part is one two five another part is one two and one two three so one two one and three and one two five so you can just modify in this error of error type of manner and you have to turn this in some sort of a string now how you can do that so it's very simple you have to just do a traversal over this tree and you can do different type of traversal let's say you do a traversal that is pre-order in which you'll like you'll iterate over this whole tree in a pre-order traversal and then you can also keep track of what all nodes you have traversed up till any twin point and when you have reached the leaf node then whatever like nodes you have iterated over you have stored somewhere and you can like just convert that particular path inside this format and just store all those particular paths so that's the overall logic now let's take one small example to understand it more clearly so let's say I have this particular tree like this. So I will just make, let's say, some sort of a vector, or you can say like some sort of a stack. It's not actually a stack; it's a vector only. But let's let's assume it's a stack, so that it will become more creative. So it's just performing in performing in some sort of a stack manner only. So what we'll do is that we will first push the one element that we have one, then we'll go to the left element and we we'll push two. Go to left element, we go four. Now, because there is no more left or right element, this is a leaf node. Whatever we have is actually a per, like a perfect, you can say, path. So one, two, three, four. Now, because we have made this as a complete path, we have to backtrack. When you backtrack, you will pop out this element. So it is popped out. Now you have gone to two. You have to now go to the left. You have iterated to the left side. Now you go to the right side. So it is one, two, five. So you push back five. Again, you have one gone to a particular leaf node. So one. 2 and 5 in a particular part. Okay, now what you will do next? You will back, back propagate. So you will go to the 5, so you will pop out 5. Then you don't have anything more on the left and right side. You've populated. So you again backtrack to from 2. So you will again remove out this. Now from 1, you'll go to the right hand side. So it has 3. You'll push back 3. Now you have on the leaf node. So you have 1 and 3. So you will just take 1 and 3 a particular path. And then you backtrack. So remove 3, backtrack, remove for 1. And you have a particular uh, map. That's the overall like logic for, for this particular problem. Let's move down to the actual uh, code part of it. So I think so you understand what is the overall like uh, logic around how what we are doing here. So what we are trying to do here is that uh, this is the starter function. So what we've done is that this is the string answer in which we will be printing out the actual answer that will be returned. Okay, this is the path that we are building the stack so you can also take a stack but this vector is actually acting like a stack i'll tell you how and then this is the solve function that we call it so this is the solve function that is, that's the recursive function that is called so you have to first mark out the base conditions the base condition that if the root is null there is nothing if you have iterated over we have got to a point that it is null return okay but if we have got to a child node or like yeah so let's say if the on a particular node that i'm on the left and right both are null which means that it is a leaf node if it is a leaf node then what we'll do is that i am on a leaf leaf node as like particularly i'm on leaf node so what we'll do is that i will push this particular element inside the you can say the path okay so that we have because we have got to this point okay we have not pushed we have not pushed any element as of now so what we'll do is i'll push this element now I use this convert function to convert whatever. So I have stored whatever nodes I have iterated over inside this path. I'll tell you in the later half, but we have stored all of that. So when we push this five, my complete path is generated in this path vector. And now I convert, convert this path vector in this format. So I have only have one, two and five, but I have to convert this inside in this format of string. So I will call this convert function, which will convert this path inside this string format. And I will push that particular string in this answer vector which is answer of which is a vector of strings because i have to like it on a vector of strings and then because we have used this i have to back propagate so back propagate i have to also remove this particular number from the stack or lecture vector that i'm building so 
so that is this path so i have to also pop this element so we have inserted and removed okay so when we have done a path the, like done our processing we have to remove this element as well because then we have back propagate okay so uh, this is back tracking actually so then we return else if these base conditions are not met let's see we are not on the lead node then what we are we are on any intermediate node then what we'll do we'll first push this particular value go to left node right node and then remove out this particular value so what what it actually means that whatever node we are on we'll push that particular node value inside this path and then we'll go to left node right node keep on popping out or keep on marking out whatever path we are going through and then inserting out the values and then when we are pop like back propagating and going back to the parent node we have to also pop back so that in the stack which i have told you when i pop like when, when i'm back propagating or going back then i have to remove that particular value as well so this is inserting this is removing so after done all all of that recursion we have to also remove that value and just return now this uh, this convert function will just take the particular path in this uh, manner in this integer format and we have to convert it into string so i will first what what we'll try to do is that whatever numbers that we have in the particular path that we have we will insert so one arrow two arrow and then there is no arrow for the, for the last one so one arrow two arrow not the last one so i will be iterating over from zero till n minus one so i will insert the number convert it inside the string and then add an arrow and for the last number i'll directly just insert uh, inside the string so i hope you get the point so we have different numbers insert like this manner so one arrow two arrow it is inserted there and for the last node value will directly just push that because we don't need an add and then we run the answer so this is all converting this particular vector of integers that is the path into this particular string format that we actually required and then we just returning this particular the this string is returned and then we push back the answer this is returned and this is turning out all the particular paths and just returning out all the paths that's the overall uh, logic so what we have done till now what we what you can understand is that uh, we have done this o of n operation over this whole tree okay and uh, whatever path we choose the path length is o of log n because whatever path we have taken out of now so it will be o of log n so so for every let's say leaf node we have to uh, also create this or like go iterate over all of those leaf nodes and just convert that so it is o of n but the number of o of n leaf nodes will be o of log n because number of lo like number of nodes will be o of log n and then this is an iteration which is iterating for every node so o of n so that is the overall logic and the code part for this particular problem uh, yep so if you still have any doubts you can mention that in the comment box thank you for watching video till the end i will see you in the next one like recording and bye